Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And I went to a Dollar Tree today and I found some cool things. I'm kind of excited. So if you want to see what all I found, stay tuned. Every single day. Okay guys, I just now left the Dollar Tree and um, it is about three o'clock in West Virginia and I'm looking for a place so I can do this Dollar Tree haul where everybody won't be like staring and because like, it's really crowded back there for some reason. I think I can do it right here. I'm going to go for it. We just haven't had a new Aldi open up and the parking lots around here have been absolutely insane. So everybody wants to go to the new Aldi and it's great. I don't blame them. Anyway, for the Dollar Tree haul, I found some good stuff and I'm excited. So I'm trying to clear out some room here. My shades. Um, first of all, I found some Wonder Whole Wheat Bread. This bread smells amazing, but I've seen the regular Wonder there before, and I always find like the, the funniest, not funniest, but like the coolest bread, and like they only usually have like one to two loaves max. So this feels so fresh. So I grabbed that up, and then um, I, I was looking for brown and serve rolls yesterday at Kroger, and they didn't have any. So they, they had these Wonder rolls, just dinner rolls, Oh, why do I torture myself so? Um, yeah, so I grabbed a loaf or a pack of those 12 rolls, and I'm going to be making hamburger helper, like the cheeseburger macaroni, and some frozen corn, and these rolls for dinner. I don't know if it'll be today or not, but it'll be for dinner at some point. So, got that stuff. Um, I got three more packs of these. I originally got two of these last week, got them for Jacqueline. And uh, my son Josh, I think he ate all of them except the one that she did eat for breakfast Saturday morning, which was, I think, was it this one? I'm thinking it was this one. Anyway, so he's like, get some more of those. He's like, I don't like having a whole box because he wastes, you know, if you open a box and then you eat a couple bowls and then you don't eat it for a while, it kind of gets stale if you don't wrap it up right. And anyway, he loves these. So I got three packages three of these bad boys so he'll be happy to see those um let's see here oh i'm gonna be making the keto pizzas for me and my husband this week and so i saw these these are new um these are the ultra thin pizza crust there's two in a pack um so for the rest of my family i thought i'd try these out and see if they like them usually i just make theirs on a tortilla which is you know I don't think they're that crazy about it. So I thought I would try this. Um, who's it by? Golden Home Non-GMO Wheat, it says even. I won't tell them that because they'll be like, ah, wheat. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, yeah, I got two of those. Um, and I thought I'd try this. I've been seeing, I don't know if this is the same brand because this says new. I don't know. Season coating mix for chicken. Um, I guess it's sort of like the shake and bake. Um, I thought I'd give it a try. If it's any good, I'll get some more. My husband loves shake and bake chicken. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a try. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting sick. I don't even like to say those words aloud because I got sick before Christmas. Before Christmas. This is April. And I don't feel like I still have gotten over it. So <clears throat> I do not like the thoughts of being getting sick. My throat feels <clears throat> scratchy. My um, grandson's sick. My granddaughter's sick. My husband's sick. So, if I don't get sick, it'll be a flipping miracle, right? Okay. 
I got me, I'm, I'm starving, okay? I'm starving. Boom. I got me a slim, two Slim Jims, actually. This one is Tabasco seasoned. This one is just regular Slim Jim mild. And I don't know if I should be eating the Tabasco one just because my throat feels kind of icky. But you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to get a bite right now just to see how hot it really is. I'll probably regret it. I don't know. Will I or will I not? I may or may not get a bite of this because it's not one to open. I thought these were supposed to be simple. Here we go. Simple. I'll let you know in a minute. You know how that stuff goes. Okay, guys. I'm really excited. I went all over the store looking for these. Okay. Did, didn't find them. I was getting ready to check out. And on the end where the bags go... There's a tub of these. I said, I've been looking for those, and there they are. The guy probably thought I was, <clears throat> that's hot. Shoot. He probably thought I was crazy. Aren't they gorgeous? They even had another lighter pink than this. I didn't get it. I'm like, I was grabbing them, and growling. He probably thought I was crazy. But they are gorgeous. I'm so excited. <sighs> they're beautiful. Look at them. Mm, they're so pretty. Ooh, those tails. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to do one in, in my 500 sus subscriber giveaway. It'll be a, uh, I don't know. I don't know which one it's going to be. I should have got two just alike. <clears throat> that way it'd been easier to decide. But anyway, I was so happy to find those. Okay, found this. I've been looking for this succulent picture. I always look through the pictures every time I'm there. And today, I'm walking back there in the cleaning aisles, and this is just laying in the floor. I'm like, what? I'll take it. I'll pick it up for you, and I will take it home with me. So there's that. All right, guys, I've been seeing y'all haul these, so I'm like, Everybody else is hauling them. I'm going to haul them too. It's the um, Zipper Seal Sure Fresh 38 Sacks portion, portioned out little bags. Now, one person I saw open them, they didn't have anything written on them. So, I'm like, I don't know. But then I saw somebody else open them and they had this stuff. Um, you have fourth of a cup, half a cup, three-fourths of a cup, and one cup. So, yeah. Okay, grabbed those just for, I'll tell you why I got them, for when I take nuts to work. <clears throat> Use these. Okay, oh, I found some new little lip glosses. First of all, let me get onto this. Um, I just grabbed this just to have up in the cabinet for if my husband runs out of his coffee creamer, there will be something there for him to put in his creamer. I mean, his coffee. <laughs> And then this, I got, I got one of these the other day. It's a refrigerator storage bin. Has this little thing. You can kind of pull it out and, you know, push it back in there. But I love to keep my, like, cheese and stuff like that in there. And I've been trying to organize my fridge a little bit. My husband's been helping me and been trying to get that organized. So, grabbed that, another one of those. Um, I found a notebook. I saw some notebooks. I saw some of the newer notebooks. But... They were not cute enough for me to grab them, but this one was. <clears throat> this one says, Superior Quality Journal for Homeschool and Office, and it looks old school. Look at that. <gasps> I said, yeah, I gotta have that. This was the only one I have ever seen, and the only one they had. It's by Jod. It's 80 sheets. It looks like it was from back in the 50s or 60s. Isn't it great? I love it. Love it. Okay. Okay, guys. Y'all haul these. I haul these. I use a lot of highlighters at work. So that's where I'm going to take these, I think. I don't know. I'm getting ready to read um, a couple of books. I can't remember the lady's name, but one of them is Wash Your Face Girl. And the other one is Stop Apologizing Girl by the same author. And um, I'm getting ready to read those. And I want to journal while I read those. So I may... I may keep these at home just for that, just to highlight in that those books and to journal. 
I've never really journaled much, but I want to get into it because it seems fun. Okay, um, man, that guy got everything all mixed up, so um, I'm going to hold off on this. Okay, I found some nails. These are gorgeous. They are the fashion nails, fun and easy to apply, sassy and chic. Look at those colors. Yeah, can't wait to put those on. Anyway, let me get over here. I got Jack a little Easter craft. I thought she could do this this evening. Um, it's just a little foam shapes. It's a little bunny. This is everything that comes in it. And then this is what the bunny looks like when you're all done. So I thought she could have fun doing that. She loves to do little arts and crafts. And I don't think I have any Easter stickers that I remember getting. I don't know, but I thought I'd describe these little eggs. They are just little foil stickers. And they are just the different, different eggs. So I thought those were pretty. Okay, um, hold on. Okay, here's these. This is the um, color point for mechanical pencils. I got one of each color. Um, it's the, they have sharp, you sharpen the lead. I've never seen a mechanical pencil that you sharpen the lead. That would be really good for those uh, Mandela type adult coloring that has the little teeny teeny areas. Yeah, this would be great for that. So I thought I'd grab them to add to my big old collection that's growing every day. Um, I found one of these coffee candles and I feel like I smelled one before. I think it might have been the eggnog or something. I didn't really care for it. This one is the chocolate mint mocha and it looks like a little tiny cup of coffee. It's cracked right here. I don't really care though. Uh, this was the only one they had. It has little snowflakes on it like Christmas time, but oh, it smells so good. It smells delightful. It, you, you get a kick of coffee in there and a kick of chocolate. I do not get a kick of mint though, so I don't know where the mint comes in at. It's starting to get hot in this car. Um, <clears throat> I got these for my the Easter basket for my grandson. Just a little Sesame Street, little fork and a spoon set. Okay. I grabbed a magic eraser. I know they had Dollar Tree brands, uh, maybe three in a pack. I couldn't find them anywhere, and I really am in dire need of one, so I went ahead and just grabbed that bad boy. Um, I grabbed another one of these glasses because the other day, day before yesterday, I was draining some pasta, and I had one of these that w was laying in my sink, and I drained the hot water on it, and then I turned the cold water on to rinse the pasta off for pasta salad, and that glass, I heard a pop, that glass cracked all the way down. I'm like, crap, because I really love these. These are nice glasses, and they are really heavy duty. So for that thing to break like that, yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta watch doing that crap. Okay, I found some. I had not seen these before. These are color bombs, tinted and scented. Um, they're lipsticks. I got three of them. They had, they had a couple more. Um, Let's see here. What all kinds? We had a grape. This is a grape. Okay, this one is raspberry. And this one's bubble gum. I'm going to try one out. I still have a little bit of lipstick on, but I'm going to try this grape out because I feel like if any of them was kind of dark, that would be it. I love the shape of them. They're triangles. Look at that. That's really cool. Anyway, they're from LA Colors. Ooh, it smells divine. Okay, it can't have much color. If you can see that, it cannot have much color to it. Mm, tastes good. Yeah. It would have to be really, really super light colored. Anyway, I love lip balms of all shapes and sizes, so grab those. I'm burning up. I'm going to roll this window down here. Got to watch people, though. I'm telling you. Okay, let me stick this in here so I don't lose it. Okay, um, I picked up these for the gift bags, the Easter loot bags for the family. This is mini carnival egg pops. I don't know if you can see them. There's eight in here. They're on a stick. They're shaped like an egg, and they're like the ones that go around and around. They sort of remind me of the little slapjacks, but I think these are just the suckers. Anyway, I thought they were pretty. 
they were real pretty so grab those okay oh i found something that i have been looking for since valentine's day and i know somebody that kept hauling these and i'm like when am i gonna get these so it's like the little golden book and you can see why they were out around valentine's day everything i need to know about love I learned from a little golden book and basically it just look at the inside cover it's like it looks old school look at that picture on the front it looks old school I just love that and it just gives little examples of what they've learned about love and which golden book it's from and I just think this is flipping adorable I actually got another one to give one in my 500 subscriber giveaway so I got me one and I got you one, whoever wins. So isn't it great? I love them so much. I was so glad to see those. Even if it's past Valentine's Day, I don't care. I love them. Okay. Got some more of these Easter eggs, the foil ones. Just, these are just the regular chocolate. The last ones I got were the double crisp. These are just regular chocolate. And I got this. I'm not going to take it out. It's a bin. I'm going to put it in my fridge to organize as well. So, do that. And um, one last thing I got. The Book of Joy Journal. It's a 365-day companion. Yeah. I don't really know. A spiritual journal. I don't really know. I mean, all it basically says. Uh, all it is is this right here. Okay, you can journal in it. It doesn't really give like inspirational sayings or anything like that. Maybe, maybe every now and then there's one. Let's see. Stress and anxiety often come from too much expectation and too much ambition. Then when we don't fulfill that expectation or achieve that ambition, we experience frustration. True that. Anyway, I just, I like that because it's hardback and it was just a dollar and it retailed for 17 bucks. So I'm like, I'll take it. They had a couple more. Um, anyway, that is my Dollar Tree haul. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run to the bank. Am I crooked? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to run to the bank for work and then I'm going to go over to Big Lots, check out what they've got. And then I'm going to run to Kroger because I got a superior deal on some water, which I will show you later. Um, there's a coupon for the click list thing that they do. So I'll show you later the deal on that. It's excellent. So anyway, I will be back later on. I don't know if I will post the Big Lots um, haul today or not. It's according to what I find actually. So I'm going to head over there and see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back. My camera's slow. By the time I press the button and by the time it gets to me, I'm like, what's going on? Is it going to work or not? Um, I went to Big, um, yeah, Big Lots and they, they didn't have a whole lot today. I don't know. I'll just show you what I got real quick. I'll probably just put it on the end of my Dollar Tree video. Um, and the first thing I got was this right here. It's from a peel it's from it's called berries hologram peel off mask and it was a dollar so i thought i'd give it a try hologram um that sounds kind of cool so i just got one of those um it's just a little thing and then um, on my keto diet this right here this is moon cheese that has one gram for about I don't know. I can eat the whole bag for about four, four to five carbs. So this that's really good. I mean, and I usually never eat the whole bag at one setting. But what it is, it's called moon cheese, and they had two different kinds. They had a gouda and the cheddar. So I grabbed those. Um, I actually got two of each, to tell you the truth. They were three dollars a bag, which is kind of pricey for a snack, but. Moon cheese is not something that I typically see around here. As a matter of fact, I've only bought it one other time in my life. And it was at Big Lots. And I kind of bought out all they had. Um, they had a spicy one. Pepper Jack, maybe. I don't know, but that was my favorite. But this Gouda, they're really, really good. Um, and they're keto. And you don't find a whole lot of 
crunchy snacks like that for keto. So I went ahead and got those and I'll show you what they look like. Um, and that's all I got in there actually. Let's see, let me get a decent sized one like that. They sort of, oh, where's the camera? They sort of look like a little cheese ball. They're very crunchy. Mm. It's been a while since I had one. I remember they're so good. Mm. Mm, yeah. But they taste like cheese, but they taste like fried cheese or something. But they're so good. So, so good. So, I was happy to see those. And actually, that is all I got in there. And I went to another store and just walked around. They didn't have a whole lot of nothing or anything. So, I didn't get anything in there either. So, I'm not feeling the shopping vibe today like normally I do. I think I got to watch some more Dollar Tree videos. And then I'll be wanting like more stuff that everybody else is hauling. I don't know. I had a blast in the Dollar Tree. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get... Um, in the house and put some coffee on so I can finish the rest of my evening and get ready to make some dinner. I'm going to make some sausage and eggs. My hair is a literal mess. I'm going to make some sausage and eggs for dinner. So sounds good. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And if you would subscribe and um, like, like, comment, whatever. Thank you for watching.